Hi everybody, we're going to do a q and I'm going to teach you how to tie any tie knot. Um, so the way to do this is I'm actually going to teach you this really, really ingenious notation uh, that was invented by two mathematicians, uh, one named Dr. Thomas Fink and one named Dr. Yong Mao. Uh, and they came up with this ingenious notation to describe how to tie any tie knot. Um, it's beautiful, it's very elegant, and once you understand it, it's very intuitive as well. Uh, before we get to that, I'm going to give you a little backstory. So the reason why I'm doing this is because a couple days ago, you might have seen, I put out a video called How to Tie a Foreign Hand and How to Tie a Bertie Knot. And um, obviously the foreign hand, no problem, but the Bertie Knot actually was incorrect. As a YouTube viewer pointed out, uh, what I was tying was not a Bertie Knot. You know, I had been tying this particular knot for the last 25 years, and somehow or other I got into my head that it was called a Bertie Knot. But you know what? It actually wasn't. I never bothered to verify whether that knot was called a Bertie knot or not. And when I dug in to it a little bit more, I was like, oh wait, that really isn't a Bertie knot. Okay? So that is actually eventually what led me to um, look back at what Dr. Fink and Dr. Mao put together, because um, they actually put out this really great book back in 1999, uh, which unfortunately there's no Kindle edition. I wish there was. Um, <clears throat> called 85 Ways to Tie a Tie. And it summarizes how they figured out how to do this notation, and then the sequences that you can use the notation in to describe how to tie any tie knot. Okay? Now, let's get to the notation, because it is really elegant and beautiful. The notation is basically just two letters, all right? The first letter is L, R, or C. And what that means is large blade, whether that's on the right side, the left side, or the center, okay? And the second letter is I or O. So whether the blade is going inwards or outwards. Let me show you. If you were to tie a foreign hand, you would describe it this way, all right? Big blade on the right side, going inwards. So RI going to LO, and you can generally tell when it's O because you're seeing the back of the tie from your perspective. LO, RI, and then CO, because center outwards, and then uh, the end of every sequence is T. T means you close the knot up, And you're good. There you go. A very quick and easy way to describe how to tie a foreign hand. You know, and I, once I learned this, I was like, I wish someone taught this to me ages ago because it's so much more succinct than being like, put your hand over here and over there. No, like all that really matters is where this thing is, is it on the left, right, or center, and is it going outwards or inwards, okay? Um, I will add one little tip. I'm gonna link to Dr. Fink's website. And uh, on Dr. Fink's website, there's actually a list of all the sequences, uh, 85 different sequences, that basically cover within them every single tie knot possible that looks good, to caveat that. Um, and the thing about the way that they use their notation and their sequences is that they actually reversed the L and R. So what I mean is the notations are as if you were watching me tie the tie rather than you were tying the tie yourself. So what I consider Ri, you would actually consider Li, because this is on my right, but this is on your left, okay? So if you look at their sequences, and then you just flip their Ls and Rs, you'll be all good. And then like all the sequences will work perfectly for you. Uh, I had to figure that one out by trial and error. Like I just couldn't make the way they wrote it intuitive to me. So I just flipped all the Ls and Rs, and then everything became clear to me, okay? All right, now let's look at the Bertie. Well, sorry, let me start again. Now let's look at the mutant Bertie, which is the way that I tie my tie generally, okay? So we go RI. Now, rather than going LO, like on a foreign hand, we go CO right now. CO, RI again, LO, RI, CO, T. And there you go. That is the mutant Bertie, okay? Gives this nice asymmetric knot, but I like it. Like, especially if you are a guy who's not too tall and you want a little bit more of the material of your tie to be used up in the knot, um, it works really, really well. Like, it still retains a bit of the look of a foreign hand. Okay, now let's look at how the Bertie should work. So the Bertie actually should work this way. R-I-C-O, that part's the same, 
But instead of doing Ri again, you go Li. You go in this way. Li, Ro, Li, Co. And then you take this through. And, you know, the thing about the Bertie is actually, I find it quite a bit more asymmetric than the mutant Bertie. Like if you look at that, there's quite a bit more on this side compared to this side. So, you know, personal preference. Personally, I prefer the mutant Bertie. I think also if you're wearing quite a spread collar, it won't look quite as skewed. Um, but I can certainly see like why some people might prefer this one. In fact, one more thing. When you are undoing your tie, always undo it this way. It's much, much, much better for the tie. I know I've mentioned this on the channel before, but I cannot stop mentioning it because the number of times I've had to like repair a customer's tie because they've just pulled it out of shape, um, that's for you guys. One more little thing uh, before we wrap up this video. So uh, I was discussing this whole thing because I got called out on IGTV as well. Um, a commenter uh, was like, oh, that's not a Bertie. And so we were discussing it and uh, he mentioned that he was a Hong Kong Chinese guy and he learned from his father Hong Kong Chinese guy as well, my way. He learned also the same way I tied my tie. I was like, huh, that's interesting. Because my way of tying a tie, the mutant Bertie, as far as I know, does not have an official name. I really struggled to try and find someone else was tying it my way. But it seems like that guy tied it my way. And I thought back to, well, how did I learn my way of tying it? And I learned it from one of my family friends. Um, and he was a Hong Kong Chinese as well. And so I was like, is this a Hong Kong Chinese thing? Is this why it doesn't really have a name? Um, so if you happen to tie a mutant Bertie as well, please, if you could let us know, I would love to get a little bit more data on like who out there is actually tying these mutant Berties and see if it really is like something that is local to Hong Kong people. Cause I would think that would be so interesting. All right, that's about it for now. Um, I will link Dr. Fink's website uh, in the video description. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in, uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them and have a good weekend. Thank you for watching.